Overall, the weather is looking quite nice. All right, the latest on Hurricane Ian. Ian, it's been out here for seven days now. It formed last Friday. Today is probably going to be the last of it, and then it will continually weaken as it moves inland. The National Hurricane Center hasn't called the landfall just yet, but it's getting close. When you zoom in down there towards the Charleston area, uh, you can certainly see that that center of circulation is right you got to wait for the very center, which is somewhere in here. So it's crossing over. It'll probably make landfall if they don't call it next minute or so in the next 10 minutes, I imagine. As it lifts to the north, notice all the rain gets thrown to the north of it. That's because it's transitioning from tropical to extra tropical. Big jet stream coming in, pulling this thing and pulling it all apart. So this is by Saturday afternoon. Much of the rain's already north of Virginia there and going up to the north. You've got a kind of line out here in the Gulf or in the Atlantic. But overall, this thing should uh, fall apart fairly quickly once we get into the weekend. So not looking at huge problems there. It'll still be a little bit breezy, but that's about it. As for the tropics, we got one tropical wave we're highlighting here. I think the Hurricane Center may keep an eye on this tropical wave now starting to see some showers and storms associated. Got a long time to watch them. No immediate threats to us, but it's a reminder that yes, October starts tomorrow, but sometimes October can still be busy in hurricane season.